giant floating heads around here that look like chaos. So that's new. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tabletop. This week, we are covering Skylanders Imaginators. This is probably the worst time to try to start this talking over the video. But, that's just how we started. As great as this is, uh, we should probably get started. <laughs> So, this is just, this isn't one of the first levels, it's not one of the last, I just kind of picked one in the middle to try to show off what this game can do. And, uh, as you can see, I kind of created a custom character. Uh, this one is based off of the character, the, uh, I shouldn't say character, the hero of the video game that I'm developing for Nintendo 3DS called Funky Grandpa. Uh, except this is a turtle version because it's Skylander, so why make a boring person? So we're going to use Funky Grandpa to show off everything, well, not everything, but a lot of things that Skylanders has to offer. No, we don't. We don't want to find him at all. He's a nice guy. Let him go. So this is kind of a trippy level here. Um, you go in and out of Fizz World to the normal world. As you can see, these are just regular trees that look like frog heads, and that is a jar that I can roll around, but it essentially does nothing. Then we come back over here, go to Fizz World, all of a sudden it is a spinning death trap. And these things are nightmare fuel. Stare into your soul. Alright, so let's just uh, start by getting up here. Um, I don't know that I actually need to be in Fizz World, but it's fun. We'll, we'll stay here for a second. And I can't do anything with this door. Let's go back to normal world. Alright, so that is just a regular old gate that we can do this with. Uh, kind of like in a lot of Skylanders games, all the doors are puzzles, and you gotta solve it. Um, and the best way to do it is to connect them, and you get your nice little piece of uh, creation material, and then you come back out Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, those vats will probably kill me if I touch them, so let's go back into Fizz World where all of a sudden they got nice caps. Look at that. I could just jump on here, jump around, and make Funky Grandpa fart, because that's the best part of this character. Is the constant force. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe somebody's on drugs. Shut up. Uh, um, so, what we're gonna do. Those trees are in my way. I can't go on with them sitting there. So we're gonna push this bottle over here and watch the magic happen. Look at that. It took longer to show, so it was a little anticlimactic. But yeah, it was. Uh, that was the thing. And it happened. It's great. I want to get this treasure first. Then I'll go fight those guys. Damn this guys over there! Oh God! It's a Japanese porno. So many tentacles. <laughs> Who was that? Oh wait, I don't want to know what that is. No, you give me that key. Give me that key. There we go. Oh, it's over here. And a nice treasure chest full of thing, which these, fortunately enough, change every time you do a level. Like that was not what I got the first time playing through that level. So in order to get the hundreds and hundreds of different customize pieces for your characters and stuff, you can go back to levels. Just play them, find the chest in the exact same spots, and you can get new pieces like a uh, veggie head. I don't think I'll be using that, but you know, it, it's there. It's a thing. Um, something I found cool about this, because I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a bit before I uh, really get to something interesting to talk about, um, 
is that the this is like one of the first Skylanders games to not have a portal included in the bundle. It was a little confusing when I first opened it too, because I was like, there should be one of those awful, awful portals. And there's not. You know, didn't get the hundredth one. No, instead, you scan them in the same way you would an amiibo. Wait, he just talks forever, doesn't he? Shut the heck up. Yes, I mind. I mind terribly. You're ruining my stuff. Oh, well, that's not me. I'm magic. But anyway, you scan in the Skylanders from uh, the Amiibo um, port, I guess. The right Joy-Con thumbstick is where you would scan in uh, the Amiibos. And I'm tired of looking at this thing. These are Oh, they're still here. Well. That's disturbing. Where was I supposed to go? Was there a door? This is a door. There we go on down. Oh my. That's that's painful stuff. So anyway, I just I thought the amiibo thing was cool. Or the Skylanders being scanned in the same way as amiibo. Um, because you don't, like, they've never been used in the same way like that. Oh, and that's how you turn on and off the fire, is you go back into Fizz World. Uh, oh, I want the treasure! Oh, I got the treasure, cool. Didn't even have to worry about it. Okay, go back into Fizz World. Oh, oop, nope, don't touch fire. Fire bad. Uh, put the button. Oh, I can't get the fizz stuff. Push this button. What? What? No! How am I supposed to go back? Dang it! No, maybe I don't need to go back. Maybe I just need to do this. And that's not what I need to do. Well, poop! I don't remember. It's been so long since I played this game. I need to let go! Touch the nice experience here. Ooh, that's refreshing. And I pushed a button. And magically teleport back outside! That's great. It's great stuff. And I can suck up the blue ones! But not to... Come here, you little blobbies. One left. Come on. Get over here. Accept your fate. Now we get the pink ones. Get over here, pinkies. Hey, don't you run. And there we go. There's all the pink now, ones. Oh god, that's what he's drinking? Those poor... Those poor, poor little souls are being drank by this monster! You're the villain of this story! Go away! Oh, alright. Well, before I do anything else just stupid and crazy, I'm gonna probably go ahead and end the video there. It kind of sucks that that's all I got to show, but these games actually tend to get kind of long as far as just the, the levels seem like they go on for a while. Um, sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's not when you really don't have a whole lot of time. However, with the Switch, that's not actually a concern because you can just put it back into sleep mode and come back to it whenever you get a chance. Uh, that's another thing that I really liked about this version as compared to, well, any other version. I never actually played a different version of the Imaginators, but the other Skylanders, the first one I got on Wii, the other ones were Wii U, all still fairly good, but... Ooh, I could be a cross-dresser. Put those on, funky grandpa. <laughs> we'll do that later in private. Alright, so yeah, anyway, that's Skylanders Imaginators. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you did, please like, subscribe, comment in the comment section below. Even if you didn't like it, I'm going to go ahead and say that. I just want to see some feedback. If this isn't the kind of thing that you want to see, let me know. I will start to change that. I'm here to please you guys, not the other way around. So just let me know what you're thinking. But this will probably continue through what I'm going to consider season one, which is somewhere around 20 episodes, um, just whatever I'm going to end up having before the end of the year. That's what I'm going to go through. So the next episode will be Zelda, which will be next Friday, uh, then Has Been Heroes, and I should not have to change this again. I know that this was supposed to be just dance. Unfortunately, my brother no longer owns that game, and I don't own it, so neither of us have access to it. So this got pushed ahead. So, yeah. Thanks, and I will see you guys next time.